Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas and Joseph and I'm here today with Draco of course and we are going to take a look at Wingspan, this new game from Stonemaier Games designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and yeah I'm excited to get into this box so let's just do the unboxing and this is the uh, latest one from Stonemaier Games and it's the first game from 2019 that I am taking a look at and playing soon as well <laughs> so that's exciting so let's see if Draco can hold the box there and we'll take a look inside. So we have the uh, rule book, of course. We have an appendix, and, and wow, <laughs> I heard about this. The rule book is actually—I usually don't talk about the rule books in games, but this one is actually um, special. The uh, special linen finish, or something I think it's called. <laughs> it feels really nice. And here we have. Oh, where to start? Some cards. This is a card room in game, so of course there's a bunch of cards here. Um, different birds, obviously. Here we have some dice and so on. Now the dice, from what I understand, it's dice drafting, so we're not really rolling dice to get a result, which I like. Uh, dice drafting is fun me mechanisms in the game. So we have different kinds of food. We have a fish, some green berries. Um, a snail, whatever it's called, <laughs> uh, and a little rat, and this one can be either or, I guess, or, or either, yeah. So, okay, some dice there, and big, uh, nice wooden dice here. Then we have player cubes, I assume, in different colors. So, is it up to five players? Wow, I'm confused. Yeah, it's to five. It's one to five players. Wow, I thought it was a four player game. That's cool. So the player cubes we have there. These are sort of the action cubes from what I understand. These uh, are how you mark when you do actions to keep track of how many you've done and so on. And an interesting thing, speaking of that, is that the actions are going to... You're going to get fewer and fewer actions as the game goes by, which I like. Uh, I like games that does that because then the game sort of speeds up in a way well i guess the, co the complexity will probably rise as well as the game keeps going and then it's good that the amount of actions are lowered and these eggs wow i want to eat these they, <laughs> they really look like candy and they feel like candy almost really nice feeling to them really nice production wow so great and in all these different colors uh from what i understand this is also really cool that the colors doesn't matter uh, I think they all just do the same thing, but they, they did go to the length of making different colored eggs. <laughs> and these just look like yeah, there's some, you know, uh, candy eggs that I usually buy that look, looks just like those. Then we have this box, which is also cool, with the bird here and everything. Because here we will be able to keep the cards when we're not playing the game. Uh, like this and then we can also use it to put the slots for three cards here as you can see so you can have this out here when you're playing and have the three cards that are on display and on this one that's just so nice production a uh, little scoring pad and this which also has a nice finish this is sort of two different ways to score um it's either whoever has most of something or it's the number of something you have and this can vary because we can put tiles here so there can be different kinds of uh, sort of common objectives baggies always like that and this is nice as well these little holders that from what I, what I understand you're supposed I think you're supposed to put the, the eggs in here and you can store them like this I just love when they do this just game comes with insert basically I love that stuff because then it's so easy to pull out and start playing so there's four of these um, nice and then we have the player board and they look sort of like a, a book almost or like a yeah folder and as we unfold it it looks like this and here's the player board where we will each player will put out sort of um, well birch cards and then the engine building begins and you will build your engine by having more and more cards here from the left to the right which will increase the value of the action you take so up here you will get food here you will get eggs and down here you will draw more bird cards and the, the more cards you put out 
when you do an action then you get to do everything to the left as well so the engine building is there and yeah this is so exciting to try this out i will do both a run through with draco yeah so there's five and i will also do a solo playthrough so it's a bunch of videos coming for wingspan just in the upcoming days because yeah it's hot i'm excited for it so here we have some punching outs and we have the first player token which looks nice and then these are all the different food items so this is like a berry and so on and here we have the um, sort of bonus tiles the common gold tiles that we will place out on that little sheet over there to uh, keep track of who was the best or that doing a certain goal if we're playing on this side or on this side I think it's just who, yeah well but here's also whoever like if I got four or something you got three then we are going to get points based on that and then we also have something very exciting this whole thing here that we're going to punch out is actually well you need to build it we're not going to do that right now but it's a um, dice tower <laughs> that you're building in cardboard but it looks really looks really cool from from what I can see here it sort of looks like wood right so you're going to build a dice tower that's also it's not just a dice tower it's also in the shape of course of a um, little birdhouse let's see if I can pull this one out here so this is going to be the front here I guess and it's going to look like a birdhouse really cool stuff I love when they do this detail they put in some effort in the production there's so many ways to just oh yeah here's the instructions there's so many ways to just do it I mean you can do a really good game and make and it looks ugly and so on but I love it when when the publishers put in the effort to make a game look nice as well as being a fun game to play okay so let's take a look at the cards as well so we have uh, parts of all kinds basically and the card quality is nice as well nice artwork there on the back and yeah this I think all the cards are unique they all have like special abilities and powers and birds sort of have different they come in different sizes so like this guy he only has 23 centimeters wingspan but let's see if we can find a big one like this one has 76 and they have different kinds of abilities and they want to be in different kinds of areas as well like this one wants to be in the water part of the board it has these three different habitats that they can live in and some birds i guess like well the turkey here he can be both in the grassland and the forest but some of them have more requirements and yeah uh, there's a bunch of them there's also these cards that are um, secret missions that each player will have during the game and you will um let's see like the oologist birds that have at least one egg laid on them if you have seven to eight at the end of the game you get three points nine plus you get six points so everybody has like a special uh, mission secret mission and you can also get more as the game goes from from different kinds of uh, birds here's some play rates as well um Here's for the Atoma deck, I guess. I think these are the Atoma thingies. And more birds and birds and birds. And yeah, really nice artwork on these as well. Um, and they have special abilities like this one. When play, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. That's one of those I talked about where you can get more bonus cards as the game goes. And wow, so many. And uh, the combinations, of course, gets really interesting as you can um, play these birds in different combinations, get different effects, they trigger off each other and all that. And yeah, it, I'm just so excited to start playing this. I will do a run through really quick here and you will be able to see it on the channel. So that is Wingspan, the unboxing, and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video as well and have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.
Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.